show you what I want you folks to do. Now, I do have a video that's available uh, to the store, and um, it's the volume one. It shows, yeah, that's <laughs> really funny. And, and um, it, it has like four different projects. Two of the pro uh, projects involve baskets. This is going to be the traditional basket, the cylinder basket, and then a little uh, buggy whip, uh, like a lightning bolt, and then a little fish. Those are some of like, the, the basics of weaving. Um, but if you look at the video, it kind of provides you information about doing a crownless coconut battery. It's just a little bit of modification, but you have all the tools there to make a crown something like that. The only thing you need to do now is kind of trim the leaves. Yeah. Okay, so this is what needs to be done. And we're going to be making a mess, but that's okay. We'll clean up later, okay? okay. Are we all in agreement? <laughs> I will all clean up later. <laughs> Messes okay. are good. So what needs to be done is that you need to put this into a circle, okay? And this is very stiff. So the leaf, you got to put it behind you. If you do it like this, you make an incision over here and you run it through, you go right into the leaves. I'm sorry, do you mind if I take photos? Just make sure you get my good side. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so what happens is that the leaves gotta be behind us. Yeah, you can move your chairs. Of course, yeah. Please, please know that. Just make sure it works for you, Uncle. It's nothing but helpful. So just yeah. jump in. And so what we'll probably do is like when we start actually weaving and cutting, we're gonna separate the goats again. Okay. So what needs to be done? The leaves, first of all, gotta be behind you. And so we'll, we'll trim the leaves, and then we decide the size of the leaf. The thing about making a coconut hat is that it's not adjustable. You gotta, uh, you gotta get the person in front of you in order to measure it, and then you put it on, and then it should fit. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, what we're gonna do? We're gonna trim this puppy. So what needs to be done is we bring it down to this point right over here. Mm -hmm. See, so I make an incision. You know, when I first started these classes 30 years ago, what I did. I brought knives for everybody to kind of trim it. What a mistake. <laughs> the first class lasted three hours. And the first one hour alone was guiding the people to make this, uh, to trim this off. It appears like, oh, it doesn't look too difficult. But you know, you have to agree that I have a number of years uh, on my belt, you know? <laughs> so what you got to do is, What's important is you gotta make a nice slicing motion. Don't just push, you gotta make a slicing motion. A gentle slicing motion. And then I'm bringing it to this point on both sides, yeah? From this point to this point over here. And after I do that, then I flatten it out. Like this. So this flattening process is so much easier, but once again, you gotta use a slight slicing motion. Don't push straight in, because it'll be a little bit more difficult. So I'll slice it, and then it comes out pretty decent. Okay, so now at the end, instead of you slicing this part over here, I just like to put my finger here and then push back, and then it'll be okay. So now what I gotta do now is massage the leaf before I put it into a circle. Because if I don't massage it, it'll kink. And then now, I think this is gonna be way big, but that's okay. <laughs> so this is probably the right size for me. As long as you can get the midrib over your head. <laughs> Okay. I just got it. So see, I'm okay. it up now. So cute. Okay. So now it's just like this, but we need to make adjustments. And then now, what I'm going to do is, I am going to cut off the excess. Okay. So now I'm going to the final. Because 
So what happens is that as long as you know that this can go into your head and just a little bit of movement is perfect because in the process of weaving, what we will do after we do the brim of the hat, we'll tuck everything in and then we do the crown. When we do the crown, all the leaves kind of take up space on the inside and then it'll fit perfect. Okay? So now we got it over here. <coughs> Okay, just a little bit, yeah. Not too big, not too small, but just right. <laughs> so then I trim the top and the bottom. So what I'm actually doing, I'm notching it. And uh, you know, for beginning students, I tell them this is what I'm for you. I have this over here. Oh, let's see. You know what this is? Tire tube rubber. <laughs> yeah, tire tube well, rubber. It, it, it's so good because when I make, when I do this, and then I pull, and then I tighten, what happens is that the elasticity bonds it so much better. Now, a lot of times the beginners when they uh, tie it and then it does come out in the process of you weaving, guess what you gotta do? Take it out and retie it, yeah? So, that's why I like to use this. Well, this is just for practice, so it's kind of a good thing that uh, we use this. If you are, if I make hats and uh, you know people request to buy it and stuff, and then I use, uh, like you know what this is? How, or I use some banana fiber or raffia. Those are really good tying tools, but this how is really amazing. Yeah. Okay. So now we got it to this point, and we're about ready to weave. Now, if you look at the video, what the video will tell you that if you're going to weave a basket, you make the midrib facing up. So this is the midrib. This is your typical coconut leaf, yeah? If I was to remove this leaf over here, so this yellow portion is called the mid rib, or the spine. This is considered to be the great rib. This is where it connects itself to the tree. So if I was to remove this rib over here, the mid rib, you see how this is very limp? And you can, you can, you can barely weave with this, yeah? You know, with the coconut leaf, just with this alone, you could weave a basket about, you know, a small little cup-like basket about this big, or if you're, uh, uh, you're knowledgeable enough, you can make a basket this big by using the whole length of the coconut leaf. Because this midrib is really strong. Yeah. What you tie at the bottom, it will. They use it to even hold babies and even green coconut. And the green coconut is very heavy. Yeah. But if you do it properly, you'll be able to do it. Okay. So now, in the video, when I, I instructed you to do a basket, the basket needs to come up this way. So the midrib has to be facing up. And then you start weaving. But when you do a coconut hat, uh, especially uh, the, the crown is, you want the brim to come down. You don't want it to come up. You can shape it up to come up this a little bit, but the natural tendency of the leaf is to come down like this. So we're gonna turn it upside down because what we want to do to make the uh, brim come down this way. We need to put the uh, spine facing down, okay? And then, as in the other video, what it tells you is to go um, under, over, under, because what you're trying to do is make the walls come up this way. When you do a hat, it's kind of in reverse. What you're trying to do is make the brim come down like this, so, in order to get it uh, to go down, you go over, okay? So now, what we're doing, we're going over, under, over, under, and into the right hand. So, if you were to do a regular basket, this would be a right hand weave, right? Because you want the bolt to go this way. But if we flip it over, this becomes a left hand weave, but the, and the brim comes down this way. But once you start on a pattern, you just continue throughout. So what we're doing, we're going under, I mean over, under, over, and into our right hand there. Okay? So now we count again. 
that you're involving only four leaves when you do the brim of the hat. It's really simple. But if you have leaves that are really long, then you're able to do, uh, like, instead of involving four, you involve six. And in, if I would have involved six, I would go under, over, under, yeah. over, and under, and then over like this. So now it comes six leaves, and then the brim comes out a little bit bigger. But, you know, just for learning purposes, it's best that you just go and make it so that you're involving four leaves. Okay? So now, this is number one. Naturally, you show it on the left side because the left hand is the dominant leading hand. I'm going over, under, over, and into my right hand. Okay? And this is how hand placement is very important. Okay? What we want to do is make all the midribs that will be on the outside, and, and the, your first fold is down. Yeah? I mean, like you're going over, under, over into my right hand there. What you're trying to do is this, when he goes over that uh, fourth leaf, you push it towards you, okay? And then you continue. Over, under, over, into your right hand. Once you start on a pattern, you just continue throughout. So, what, what are we doing? We're involving <coughs> four leaves, and it's over, under, over, into my right hand. Over, under, over, into my right hand. The right hand plays a very important role in making the hat because it stops the leaves from uh, getting confused. See, so this is the pattern right here. Yes? You're going over, under, over, into my right hand. One, two, three, four, over. Two, under, three, over, four, into my right hand. So once you start on a pattern, you just continue throughout. And of course, you'll be fumbling along the way, but um, you know, that's how it is. That's how it is when you learn. Okay, now, the first one was loose. You see how loose this was over here? Because it allows me, now, I can get back into my weave. If this were tight, tight, like if I started off and it was tight like this, I wouldn't be able to get through, yeah? So, don't forget to open it up over here. And then the process is, you're going out, and then you're moving back in, and then it lodges right on the fourth leaf on the inside between the great rib and the leaf. Yeah, that's very important. Okay, so we count again. One, two, three, four. All we're doing is involving four leaves over number four. Now, this is when the process changes a little bit. What I want you to do is all the leaves in your right hand, what you've got to do is put it between your knees, put your knees together, it frees up your right hand. So now you get two hands available for working up. Yeah? So I got one, two, three, four. Okay? I, now I use two hands under, over two, under three. But for fear that I might crack this rib, I don't push it up like this. What I do, I grab the tip. Since the tip is flexible, I start with the tip. Under, number three, over number four. You see how I put my thing down like this, I put my finger behind it, I poke it down like this, there, into my knee. This is my last one. One, two, three, four, yeah? So I go over number two, and then I get the tip, and I poke it down into here. So under number four, you see I'll put my finger behind the leaf, and I poke it up where it's supposed to go. That makes it so much easier. Four, over, under, uh, under number three, over number four. There, this is complete. The thing about weaving with the coconut, what you do, you place the leaves where it's supposed to go, and then you tighten when you're done. When you're weaving with lapala, you're supposed to tighten it as you go along because, you know, it'd be kind of impossible if you started a uh, weave uh, over here and then you try to tighten this area here, yeah? That's impossible. But coconut can. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to tighten it like this. Tighten it like this. I tighten it a little bit. There. And so now I've created the grid. And the one thing good about uh, uh, weaving a coconut hat as opposed to a laukala is like about, oh, possibly about 39 and a half, 39 hours and a half difference. 
<laughs> it'll probably take me just about half an hour to do a cook for that pack. Right. Whereas, you know, living on La Hollette, about Ladies, 40 hours. Ladies, you get hours. that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. It takes about 40 hours. At least, I would say. Yeah. Gathering the leaves, cleaning up, okay. separating, stripping. Oh my god, there's so much involved. Okay, so now we're at this point here, right? Okay, so um, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and I'll provide you with leaves, and then you go ahead and start trimming the leaves, and then I'll, I'll and then weave you to this point, and then we will continue. Is that okay? No. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have questions? Go, I like with you. <laughs> Okay. Wait, so, so this is the part where you spread okay. out. Yeah, this is and the part where you spread out. Put all your ukulele over there so you're not distracted by your stuff. And keep water. And there's a little bit of meal yeah, on the over here. But it's it's so spread out. Give me some space. Right. So what needs to be done is with the oh, elastic uh, thing, I'm going to pull it. This will provide a better bond. And then I'm wrapping it one time. And then I don't end it there. I extend it off to the right, and I wrap it one more time, like this. And then I come back. So now I have an X, yeah, right over here. And I'll explain why. And then I put a double knot. A grandmother's really? knot, if you would. There we go. And then I cut it, and I'll explain what I did. So when you look at it like this, this is where I notched it, right here. I notched it right over here. And then I wrapped it two times, and then I extended the knot this way over here. Reason being is that the notch area prevents it from coming out this way. The extended knot on this side prevents it from doing this when you weave it. Yeah? Yeah, and that's why. But everybody, they have their own technique. I know people who just use zip ties and tie and make ties, and that works. Oh. I'm just throwing these out of that. Okay, let's see. So now we massage this puppy. Then put it into a circle. You need a time. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. I will just review this so I can catch up to you folks. So remember midrib facing down, and then we go over, under, over into your right hand. It's very important that after you weave this, you make a pile into your, uh, I have a, a left hand weave, so I'm making a little pile in my right hand and placing all the leaves on top, okay? And once you start on a pattern, you just continue throughout. Over, under, over. The reason why we are going over is because if we went under to start, the hat would come out like that. Yeah. And you do want a gentle slope coming down. So I'm going over, under, over into my right hand. And you see how my right hand is touching skin to skin? That's where he had trouble with that. Yeah. yeah, because sometimes if you let go, you'll be including it in your weave and then you will be incorrect. Now, why don't you start on the weave? And then now I'm here, I get all the weaves put it in my knee, and then I continue weaving. But under no circumstances do I allow my right hand or left hand to hold the bow. What you gotta do, you gotta use, for the end, you gotta use two hands to weave and use the aid of your uh, knee to kind of lock in the knee so that you don't have to hold it with one hand. There we go. Under, number. Like so, and this is done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to tighten from the inside I pull. And what I'm trying to do is bring each leaf to the apex, to the, the joining of the leaves here.
and then I'm, I'm tightening from the inside, yeah? Because I'm tightening from the direction in which the leaves are coming. Okay, so I just go ahead and make a single pass. And then now I'm ready to do the bottom. One more thing as a last uh, kind of uh, impression. I, I want to build this up so that everything is uniform. So uh, with my right index finger, I'm just popping all of this out so that it's all uniform on the outside. So those of you, like Nicole, Patrick, and um, Molly, and you might have a problem, but um, the rest of you, I think, because you have the Hawaii, I only brought like three Samoan coconut beads just for fun. Um, the one of you with the Samoan coconut beads, you need special attention. What you will actually do, you skip leaves, okay? So now we're all at this point, is that correct? Okay, so the next thing you do, you're going to invert the lead. You're going to take it from the inside, you're going to push it out, and put it up on the top of the hat, mm -hmm. like this. I got this question. Now, you got to be careful, because like sometimes if you handle it incorrectly, it'll crack the rib, yeah? and you don't want to do that. And then, when you do, try to put it all in sequence. I'm putting it all in sequence because what we're doing now, if you saw the tape uh, that I had done, we're going to do the cylinder basket like, and then it'll be standing straight up as opposed to having a curved edge. Okay, so there. So now I'm ready to do the bottom. So now let's determine how I'm going to do. First of all, what we're going to do, we're just making three rows, but we're standing the rows up. Because in order to create the, um, the crown of the hat, we eventually would like it to shape this way. If, like for instance, like Malu, uh, Nicole, and Patrick, <laughs> and Mali, and you, they have the Samoy coconut, if they were to incorporate all the leaves, when they finish the crown, the crown will be like this. Mm -hmm. So, what needs to be done is that every, like if you have like 10, if you have like about um, well, 20 leaves, you're gonna skip, you're gonna weave, um, not be 40, you're gonna leave it underneath. Otherwise, if you include all the leaves, they'll, they'll come out like that. And that's a really good point. Or. The other way you could do it, it is, is if you strip each leaf, you strip each leaf, you thin out the leaf. I'm talking to these four. But in, in the case of you folks over here, you folks are all good. We can incorporate all the leaves, okay? So what we're doing now is we're going to take three leaves, and you take the ones closest to you. One, two, three. The one in the back, we're going to stand up like this. We're going to stand it up, and then, you see how the midrib goes? The midrib is on my left, but I gotta bend it off and make the midrib on the top. Under, over, under, and then I pull it towards me. And then what I'll be doing is continuing this weave. And you're involving only three leaves. Oh, I'm sorry, four. Because you're involving the same amount of leaves as you did for the uh, uh, brim. Under, over. But I'm pulling up each leaf over here so that it stands up. And if you think you the leaves are getting too tight, to then skip a leaf. Like so, I, I won't do this leaf, and I'll do this. Leaf. This is what Nicole, Patrick, and Molly and and will have to do. You're skipping the next one in order. Yes, I'm just skipping at random because it's looking too tight. But uh, I, I don't think any of you will have the problem. Only uh, Mom and you. Will. Yeah. So I'm going under, over, under. But see now, this is standing up. Yeah. So 
覚えてないですけど。Okay, I'm going to skip one more only because it looks like it's getting too crowded up on the top. So I'll probably skip three. So what I will do to make it easier, it's difficult for me to uh, determine if you have a right or left handed lead, I'll help you individually, yeah? Well, <coughs> and this is done. So because I skip stuff, it's not so crowded up on top. Sometimes when you're uh, working with leaves, they crack and the crack occurs right on top over here. When that happens, the best thing to do is to add a leaf. But when you add the leaf, you, you're just gonna stick it off to the side and bring it so that the nice point goes over. And you're not using the very top of the leaf, you're using, uh, I mean the very bottom of the leaf, you're using closer to the top. Uh, if it happens to any one of you, I'll bring it to the attention of the rest of you so that you can see how it's done. Yeah. Okay, so what did I do? I skipped two leaves, perfect. And so the, cr the crown is sitting this way. If I had included everything, it would have come out a little bit. Okay? Now, uh, for you folks, you just get started and I'll tell you the skip. Okay. So, on your marks, <laughs> get set, go! That's what's gonna help you get up. Okay, leaves are in which to do it. So, in Carter's case, he has, uh, these, these, these are pretty thick, but like, uh, uh, just, uh, yeah, you folks don't have to worry about it. But like, like Patrick, Malu, Nicole, and, uh, Molly and what I'm gonna do with Patrick's leaf, uh, Carter's leaf, I'm gonna thin it out like this. Each leaf is gonna thin. This will give me enough room in the time. So if you were wanting to do that too, Malu, you would take out, strip the leaf like this, each one. You gotta thin out the leaf so that you have enough to handle the top. But I don't think it'll, or well, don't do it too much though. Don't take off too much. It'll be too thin. I'm just taking off about three eighths of an inch. The last one you did. Yeah, don't take off too much. Just a little bit. What are you going to do? Are you going to update yours off or are you going to skip it? Um, I kind of like this. It's hard. It's, it's much harder. Yeah. So, take off about this much. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.